Tumen Bay, from Panoply and the BBC. Previously on Tumen Bay. You are not going to the swamps as a general, but as a slave in chains to work with the rest under the whip and the sun. I am a man, like any other. And I dare say, I can die like any other. But if I do not, then one day, there will be a reckoning between us, Barak. You will accompany the slaves, if you would be so kind. But there is plague. I know that. This is not an invitation, is it? It's the vizier. Who? The Grand Vizier, Kadali. I, Kadali, confess to the murder of Effendi Red. Well, well, who would have thought? Once I was a king. Now I'm a slave like you. I will be a king again. And you will be a general. I am the daughter of General Kulan, commander of the armies of Tumen Bey, and like him, I will fight for Tumen Bey. To my death, if required. No one is above suspicion, are they? I even suspect myself sometimes. Do you suspect yourself, Gregor? No. Where are you going? To the swamps. <clears throat> to my father. You will die out there. There's disease. Then I will die. I am going to find my father. He'll be dead. <laughs> you don't know my father. Hello, Gregor. Remember me? Oh, God. My brother's blue-eyed boy. I'm Daniel. I served under your brother, General Kulan. You're listening to Season 2, Episode 7 of Tumen Bay. The desert. Wanderers on the hot sands, hoping to find one. My niece Manel and the daughter of my friend. Where have I sent them? To safety? Or to death by plague? What are they doing? Don't say anything. Where are the guards? We're just travelers. Where are the guards, Manel? Didn't you say there'd be guards? Hey! You two! What's your business here? Travelers! We're travelers. We just want to rest a while. There's no rest here. Here everyone works. Can't you see? What are you doing? Saving the city, some say. Clearing the canals, making the water flow. It's vast. Yes. It was built hundreds of years ago. We're just patching it up. So the general says. What general? General Kulan. But isn't he... Wasn't he a... I mean... Slaves and guards, weren't there? <laughs> you want guards? Go ahead, look around you, traveler. You'll see them clear enough, all those who didn't know which way the wind blows. What do you mean? On the poles. The heads on the poles, girl. There are the guards. The rest of us are free men again. And General Kulan? He is General Kulan. Now, what was it you wanted? Go on. Into the tent. Maybe we should wait. It's too late for waiting, girl. Go. Father. Welcome, daughter, to my camp. And my army. But how? Why? Uh, how, my dear Manal, is your father? You. The why is a stupid mistake of those in the city that think chains can imprison an idea. You. Come, Manal. You were never so tongue-tied as a child. I taught you to speak clearly. Mother, they have Mama. They took her from our hut. And they will pay, Manal. You saw the heads as you arrived. There were many heads. Does that upset you, young woman? I wish you could kill them all. This is heaven. They killed her father and stole her baby. I like her attitude. How did you escape the city? Uncle Gregor, he helped us. 
He's part of the resistance in the city now. So he says. So he says. If it's true, it's worth knowing. I think it's true. They wanted us to go to the mountains. We came here instead. People are coming to us every day. Desert dwellers, refugees, the dispossessed. If they can work and fight, we take them in. And if not? There are always more poles for more heads. How did you sleep, my child? I had dreams, Papa. I was frightened. Oh, don't be frightened. Soon all will be well. A great master has seen the soul and exploded. He will learn how to make your soul right again. And then you will run and play under God's good blue skies. Is it really true, Papa? Everyone who knows me knows I never tell a lie. You will have to be brave and it will sometimes be a hard and long journey. Listen, I will tell you a story. I was a boy such as you and not much older than you are now when I was lost in a cold country. My leg was twisted and broken, and I was in great pain, and I feared I was going to die alone. Give me your hand. I did not die. A great light appeared, and there was warmth, and the love of God flooded down, and I was found by a passing herdsman, who took me and made me whole again through God's grace abounding. So will it be with you, my child. And my papa never ever tells a lie. <laughs> never ever. Sweetness of my heart. Now, I have to go to the palace, but I will return. Hmm? Tuman Bay, Series 2, Episode 7. Take My Hand, by Mike Walker. The palace. Another morning. Another meeting. Nothing's changed. Except someone new in charge. And the process. The slow, certain destruction of Tuman Bay. We'll go on. You can move on to the marbles which were sent to the markets of Farah for sale. Barakat. Mistress. Where were you? I was... I was unavoidably detained. Mistress, um, matters of no most... importance. Sarah, Effendi Red's widow, once my slave, sent by Maya to continue the work, or perhaps to bring about something new. Our watchers tell us there is insurgency in the swamps. I can't take my eyes off her. What were you thinking, sending a man like Kulan out there on his own? There are guards. He's in chains. Hmm. There are no guards. And he is no longer in chains, it seems. The Barakat I knew would not have done this. Maya is not interested in swamps or plagues. I am guided by God. Be quiet. Try and be useful. We need to stamp out this rebellion. Daniel, hmm. you know Kulan. Is it likely that he could prove a problem? Yes. I served under him. I stayed in his house. I know his daughter, Manel. Given time, he could build his 500 slaves into an army. Then we must not allow him that time. What troops are there in the city, Barakat? Uh, the numbers. I don't at this moment. I will obtain them at once. 1,200 regulars, 1,500 wall guards, roughly 700 police. Most of the frontline troops have been sent to Maya. 2,000 is all I'll need to mop up these slaves. I'll take the regulars and make up the numbers with the wall guards. Mm, then who will guard the walls? The walls will be safe, believe me. Then get to it, please, Daniel. Finish this thing so we can complete our work here. Mistress. Now, I wish to see the Sultan. She asks what she already knows, and knows very well what she wants. Barakat? Where is the Sultan? The rest of us. Even Barakat, I suspect. Not here. Where is he? Uh, appears to be lost, mistress. Are in the dark. Oh, uh, 
I came to see my father. He said I was to meet him this morning. <laughs> and you meet me instead. I did not expect... Me? My father has a wife. My mother... I am not your father's latest wife, nor he my latest husband, Manal. I'm a traveler, and I have seen and learned many things in many ways. Oh. Manel, good. You are on time. How are you? Fine. Oh, before we go, Dr. Alkin has something she has to do for you. Lift your sleeves, both of you, please. It's all right, we've all done it here. When I was in Cafe, there was a plague. And the doctors there had discovered that if you scratched yourself with a needle, bearing a little of the infection, you would not catch the disease. Is it true? Is it magic? It is what it is. The learned doctors of Cathay could tell you more, but they are not here. You will feel a little strange later today, as if you are in a dream but awake. Don't worry, it is nothing. Manal, your father is waiting. They broke in and smashed everything. Pasha. Pasha took up your sword and he fought. He was a boy against men, father, but he would not give up. Daniel was there. They could have saved him, he could have stopped it all, but he did nothing. And Pasha died. But he died as you would have wished, father. I thank you, Manel. I failed you by not being there, but I know too that you have taken up that same sword and now you live and make me proud. Gregor has helped us, Father. And himself. Why do they work still? If they are not slaves anymore? The canals, the locks need to be mended. We're going to clear the swamps and eradicate disease. Besides, it is good training. It will get them used to hard work and small rations. It will make them better fighters. Fighters? But... You don't think they will leave us alone out here? They will be sending an army. But how will five, six hundred face an army? They will crush you. Maybe. Maybe not. Ugh. Oh. You are dizzy, yes? Yes. Mm, a little. Go and lie down in my tent. It is the magic Dr. Algin gave you. Father, it is not my place, but Dr. Alkin. You are right, my daughter. It is not your place. Go, rest, be strong for what is coming. You sent for me? Yes. My husband died here in this room. How did he die? Do you know? How? Strangulation. Who? Your husband was ill, but even so, I doubt Kadali had the strength or the guts to do it. And the confession was just too neat. So who? Everything points elsewhere. Why? That points elsewhere, too. Yes. For now, leave it be. May I ask you a question? Yes. Why you? When you came to Tuman Bay as a slave, why did I choose you? Trust you above all other possibilities? Where I come from, really come from, there is a tree that grows in the high mountain passes. Too high, you would think, for insects to find it. But it exudes a sap that certain insects can sense over vast distances. And in spring, they fly up and up. They are driven mad and millions die. But a few, only the most perfectly suited for their task, get through. And the tree doesn't care. All it needs is to spread its seed. You thought you were free, Gregor. But maybe you weren't. We chose you. Maya understands these things. Isn't it a coincidence that the wife of Effendi Red happened to survive? 
Red had many wives. And the child? She served my as do we all. And what now? We must prepare. For what? For Maya. She's coming to Tuman Bay. She's already here. Amongst us. You? <laughs> of course not. Do you think she would risk coming announced to a city at war with itself? She has a purpose as always. But first she must be anointed by the Hafiz. It is written and must be so. When the holy oil touches her, she will be transformed. Brought into direct contact with the divine. Forever changed, as the city will be. The city? What do you mean? It will be raised. There will be nothing left. No towers reaching for the stars. No walls excluding God. No great palaces mocking God. Life will be very simple. Just the servants of God and the slaves of men. And me? That's the Gregor I recognize. Perhaps you'll burn with the city. Why are you telling me this? Because you have a chance to save yourself. Perhaps I owe you something. Now I have something to act on. A ceremony, a state event with Maya and all the top officials present. This is what we've been waiting for. Peace be with you. Tall tree. You know who I am. I require the response. Still in leaf. Is the council present? Enough of us. What news do you bring, Gregor? Something hopeful, at last. The Sultan speaks well. We have been starved of hope. Then today, we can begin to prepare the feast. What do you mean? A grand ceremony in the Great Temple, with every bastard in the regime present, whilst Maya is anointed by the Hafiz. All of them present? Maya, Barakat, Sarah, Daniel. Daniel? He's here. Majesty, it's good to see you looking so well. How are you feeling? Much better, thank you. You mentioned Daniel. Oh, God. Look at his eyes. Has he come to Tuman Bay? He arrived three days ago. Why wasn't I told? Because your love for him will put everyone at risk. Been, Isn't that obvious? But how can we get close to Maya? It's my job to escort the devotees of the temple to the Hafiz's palace, where they will prepare. We kill the monks, seven of them, and substitute our own people. But won't we be searched? Oh, yes, indeed. But you will have no weapons. Nothing to be found. Then how will we kill them? The assassins will have poison under their fingernails. Invisible, unscented, but deadly once it reaches the blood. <laughs> oh, one scratch. Kill them all. Well, of course, Majesty. Dorin will... Where is he? Is he here? He's working in the hospital. Are you sure you can trust him? As much as we can trust you. Gregor! Gregor! Wait. Yes? He needs to ask me something. I need to ask you something. Did you see Daniel? Are you sure it was him? It was him. You knew about us? Uh, of course you did. You knew about everything. He was Maya's servant all the time. Life is full of betrayals. I want him left off the kill list, Gregor. He's part of it. It's what I want. I'll see what I can do. Stay away from him. You know you can't trust him. Yes. Yes, I understand that. Just see that he lives. Yes, she was right. The insect can't resist the sap of the tree of death. I'm John Dryden, the creator of Tuman Bay, and I want to tell you about a discovery I've made. Tuman Bay is available as a free podcast, thanks to our sponsors. And this is where my discovery comes in. 
One of today's sponsors is a company that makes the most comfortable sheets I've ever slept in. Brooklinen was founded in 2014 by a husband and wife team who believed that buying sheets from traditional stores was too complicated and expensive. They just wanted their sheets at home to be as comfortable as the sheets at the most high-end hotels. So they created Brooklinen so that you can get the luxury sheets and bedding you deserve at a price that won't keep you up at night. Maybe it's too late for the people living in Tumen Bay to get a good night's sleep, but it's not too late for you. And brooklinen.com has an exclusive offer just for listeners of Tumen Bay. Get $20 off and free shipping when you use the promo code Tumen Bay at brooklinen.com. In fact, Brooklinen is so confident that you'll love your new sheets that they offer a risk-free 60-night satisfaction guarantee and a lifetime warranty on all of their sheets and comforters. There's no reason not to give these sheets a try. The only way to get $20 off and free shipping is to use the promo code TUMANBAY at brooklinen.com. That's B-R-O-O-K-L-I-N-E-N dot com. Promo code TUMANBAY. T-U-M-A-N-B-A-Y. Last time we met, you were going to kill me. And I didn't. No. You said you were a girl astray. You didn't tell me you were the daughter of Tuman Bey's greatest general. I was no one then. Or perhaps I was astray, I don't know. They have my mother, you know. In Tuman Bey. They arrested her. She will be all right. How can you say that? I know these people, these kind of people. She is a counter in a great game to be played, not thrown away. Perhaps you are one of them. I love my father, and yet you are... With your father? Will he take you as a wife? Will I take him as a husband? Does that shock you, that I should say such a thing? Drink more. You need the liquid. I don't know anymore. So many things have happened that sometimes I think... I wish it was all as it was, and then... You don't. I don't. It's not so easy being free. Ah. Regret is part of freedom. Do you regret much, Doctor? I... Many years ago... I was traveling at the very far edge of the civilized world, near the lands of the Pale Barbarians. I was living in a city there, studying under a great doctor, and I fell in love with a young fellow. Oh, I was hardly more than a girl myself then. And as will happen, a child was born, a daughter. And then a new Khan came to rule over the city, and I and my kind were not wanted. I had to escape, and I left our baby with the father, for he, had a wife of his own and loved the child and I was no more than a traveler and could give her nothing what happened many years later shortly before I came to Tumambe I was again in that far country and in that city and I wondered about my child and I went to the street and the house And I inquired about the man I had loved and was told he was dead. And his daughter, I said, a black-haired, almond-eyed child. And they told me she too had died at the age of 18 of the plague. My daughter had lived a whole life and I had known none of it. Not one moment. Perhaps you should find your friend. She is nobody's daughter or maybe lost and confused. She's not really my friend. It all went wrong because of her. But then, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for her. Things are so confusing. She lost the baby too. Watch where you're going, girl. We're working here. You could get hurt. Go back to the fire. Uh, I was looking for... No! Whoa, whoa! Watch out! I was 
lost. I don't know where to go. I, I was lost. Oh, come on, girl. You have to... Heaven. I'm lost. I'm, I'm lost. Heaven! Oh, no, it can't. It isn't... It's... I, I thought I... I knew. I would not give up. I knew. I hoped I would find you if you were at the end of the earth. Oh, whoa! Oh. The magic makes you feel strange. It's all right, Heaven. I am here. My hand. Hold it. Hold it. Don't let me go. I lost our baby. They took our baby. They gave him to another family. Our child is lost to us, Akiba. Lost in the stars. No. We will find him. I swear it as I found you. So we will find... Is he a boy? Are you sure? I don't know. I don't know. Shh. Together. Together. You got my message? I did. Are you going to let me in then, Madhu? Everyone is looking for you. Since you vanished from the palace, you can't imagine. Maybe I can. It was a blow to the regime, to Maya. Her sultan vanished. I was just a puppet. You were their puppet. They didn't like it. But I always knew you were a fighter, Madhu. Did you? You know that. All I know is what happened at the end, when the city fell. I acted in the only way I could, to save your life. They made you the Sultan, didn't they? You know what that was worth? Nothing. I signed decrees, I put my seal on terrible things, awful things that were done in my name, and you just disappeared, Daniel. Do you have any idea of how it was for me? I was a soldier too. I had orders, and you don't disobey, Maya. Don't you understand? I've been in hell, Madhu, ever since I was away. I was worried almost to death about you, about what was happening, and I could say, ask nothing that would show how much I cared. We could have escaped together before all that. We could have gone to the mountains. <laughs> Madhu, you know that could never have happened. They would have found us. It... It was a dream. We would have been. I missed you, Daniel. So much. I missed you too, Madhu. My darling man. So much. Oh, God. Daniel. My beautiful Daniel, don't ever leave me again. Never. Never, I swear it, my sweet... Never. Night. And silence. Shh. In the shadows, a child looking at me. Go back to bed. Maybe she's asleep even as she turns and walks away. No shortage here. Orphans are plenty. What are you doing here, Gregor? I could ask you the same question. I am physician to the orphanage. Why would I not be here? At this time of night? Or is it morning by now? I was at the institute, at your home. No one seems to know where you are. I'm busy. What are you doing, Dorin? You and Barakat. Are you betraying us? Why would I betray my friends? Why indeed? I want nothing more than the total destruction of these animals. This filth that has infected our city. I want it to stop. I want an end to it. What are you doing to this child? The child is dead. It was nothing I did. Then why... what? It's Barakat. 
He believes that if we can find the soul and mend it, then we can mend the child. Mend what child? Mend his child. I was right. You're up already. There's work. I'm no longer a free man. I have an army on the march. What do you mean? Oh, there are some ragtag rebels out at the swamps. Sarah is sending me to shut them down, that's all. Rebels? Swamps? It's nothing. When can I see you again? Oh, I don't know. It depends. Depends on what? All right, you can come in now. Daniel? Take him to the palace. Majesty, no. you need to come with us. Da Daniel! Please. Don't let him out of your sight. Daniel! He'll tell you all you need. He knows where the rats are hiding and what they want Daniel. to do. Daniel, come back! Let me go! I'm Daniel! Daniel! <laughs> Your horse, Commander. Good. And the army? It's set up a first light, sir. Thank you. Commander! We were wondering where you were! As you see! And the troops? In good order, sir. Ready for the fight. Good. We need to finish this and get back to the main task. Exactly, sir. When do you estimate our arrival? Tomorrow, the seventh hour, I would say, sir. They'll know we're coming from the dust. And like the dust, they will be scattered. Carry on. Yes, Commander. Come on, pick it up! Majesty, welcome back. I had hoped to meet you when I arrived, but it seemed you were gone away. I have nothing to say to you. Come. Look. They want to know their sultan is safe and looking over them. The people. An empire without a sultan is an empire in danger of anarchy. When you disappeared, Maya was concerned. I was sent to find you to make sure you were safe. We feared you had fallen into the rebels' hands. Where did you go? I... I just wandered. That's all. I, I needed to be alone. No. Oh. Who gave you shelter? Who fed you? Alone. I was alone. Of course. I know how hard you've struggled. Remember, I knew your mother, too. Shaja was a powerful woman. She demanded so much of you. Is it any wonder that sometimes you were bowed under the load, that sometimes you stumbled on the way? You knew my mother? Yes. And you killed her? She was very beautiful as she died, Madhu. I strangled her in the bath with her own gold chain. How often did you dream of doing that? Of choking the life out of that beautiful, cruel mother of yours. Stop it! Are you angry with me or are you jealous? Why don't you just kill me now? I'm the last of the old regime. Then it'll be finished and done with. The rebels. Where are they? I can't. Take my hand. Here. You have suffered grievously. You have been betrayed and used. But all of those things can be forgotten. Let everything go. I can't. Save yourself, Madhu, in Maya. Live in Maya. Here, come close. Let not a whisper escape. 
in my ear. Come close. 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 I can't! I can't do this anymore! Madhu, stop! Wait! For what? For my city to worship their sultan? Here! My people! See your sultan! Guards! The mighty Madhu! Guards! Stop him! See him fly to heaven! Stop him! Uh -oh. Oh. You have failed! Behind this, I, I. He was. Can you see the body? Yes. It is broken, Highness. Then leave it for the dogs. What is your name? Saeed. Do you want to have children one day? Saeed? A family? Highness, I do. Jump. Highness? You heard. You jump. Your failures are no use to Maya. But... Mr. Sarah... You dare to disobey me? No. No. City? Not yet. First, we have to do something. We have to get through today. You will need to go to the hills there, beyond the canal, with the women and children. Is he here? He's on the workings with his people. He was there early, waiting. They'll come? Our lookout tells us they're on the way. You'll see the dust soon. You should go to the rear. Are you going? I wouldn't miss the chance of seeing a battle like this. Is there a sword in there I can use? Can you use a sword? Yes. I'll fetch it. Then you should go to your father. I think he'd like to have you beside him today. Good day, Father! As long as we acquit ourselves with honor, it will be so. There! I see them. Been there for a while. Been watching their dust. There's a lot of them. They seem to cover the horizon. More to kill. How many? Enough for our swords. Surely too many. Hush, daughter. We can all see them. Is that a white flag? Yes. God knows what they think we have to talk about. Hoist the reply! Hoist the reply! Let them come! Come ahead! Come ahead! Come ahead! Do they think we'll surrender? Can't be that stupid. Maybe for the women and children. <laughs> Doesn't sound like Maya to me. We'll see. It's him. Father. Daniel. That at least makes sense. He knows his business, that one. Let him through. Let him through! Let him through! General Daniel. Maya is not vindictive. She will accept your total surrender, your return to slavery. Anyone who lays down his arms and comes with me now 
will live. I'm afraid you've wasted your time, Daniel. There will be no surrender. Hello, Daniel. Hello, Manel. I didn't expect to see you here. I dare say you didn't. General, is it your right to condemn all these to death? You're asking half of them to fight with shovel and mattocks. You have a handful, I have an army. It's absurd, General Kulan. It's over. Indeed it is, you can go now. You'll all die. Then we'll be dead. And your daughter? Manel, I don't want to see you. What? Harmed? Hurt? Again? You don't have to die. Come with me now. All you have to do is take my hand. Take it now. And you will be safe. I trusted you when you said we had a future together. When you said you loved me. My father opened his home to you. My mother offered you hospitality. And you betrayed us. My brother was killed by your people, and you just looked on. I did what I had to do to save your life. We are all under orders, Manel. As your father says, we are soldiers. But you are not. Yes, I am. General, you know that your wife, Hoda, is our prisoner. If you don't surrender them, they will execute her. So be it. Very well. <laughs> Sir! Prepare to advance. They turned the offer down? Obviously. There are women and children amongst them. They may not all be rebels. Some may still be loyal. Kill them all, Commander. Let God decide who to save. The army will advance. Through the valley? There is no other way to get to them. The army will advance. Yes, Commander. Let's buy it! Hold steady. All hold steady. Hold steady! Ready, Sergeant? Ready, sir. On your command. Dr. Elkin? Not yet. Wait. They must be closer. Closer at the mark we made, Kula. I thought you were going to the back. I never could resist a battle, and besides, the idea was mine in the first place. What idea? They're getting bloody close, sir. Wait. Hold them. Now. Now. Hold them. Now, Sergeant. Release the wedges! They thought it would be 500 against 2,000. Instead, it's 2,000 against the sea! Where are they? What's happening? Are they running? What's that? What have they done? The death! Remove your armor! Get out of the way! Yeah. <laughs> 
I thought somehow that you would survive, Daniel. Of them all, that it would be you. Help me now. Yes, of course. Take my hand. I loved you. You have to believe me. Of course I do. I looked into your eyes. I could see the truth. Help me. I want to help you, Daniel. Look into my eyes. You can see the truth. All you have to do is take my hand. Goodbye, Daniel. Episode 7, Take My Hand by Mike Walker. Gregor was played by Rufus Wright. Barakat, Hiran Abesekara. Sarah, Nina Yindis. Manel, Aisha Hart. Dorian, Vincent Ibrahim. Heaven, Tanya Raulian. Alkin, Natalie Armin. Madhu, Danny Ashok. Akiba, Akin Ghazi. Daniel, Gareth Kennedy. And Abujan by Jacob Krzyzewski. Other parts were played by Zaki Ismail, Flaminia Cinque, Lara Sawalha, Jonas Khan, Danny Carmel, Byron Mondol, and Ayan Arya. The assistant editors were James Morgan, John Owen, and Andreina Gomez. Music was by Sasha Putnam. Sound design was by Steve Bond. Tuman Bay is produced by Emma Hearn and Nadir Khan and is directed by John Dryden. If you're a fan of Tumen Bay, please help us spread the word. Go to Apple Podcasts or wherever you download your podcasts and leave a review. It really does help us build an audience for the show. This episode of Tumen Bay has been sponsored by Brook Linen. If, like me, you don't often think about your bed linen, just wait until your first order from brooklinen.com arrives. You'll discover that great bed linen can really make a difference to your life. After all, you spend a third of your life in bed. 
Are your sheets taking care of you the way they should be? Brooklinen makes buying sheets easy. You don't have to worry about thread counts and what Egyptian cotton is because they do all that for you. And because they only sell direct, you get luxury hotel quality sheets at a shockingly reasonable price. Brooklinen has become the fastest growing bedding brand in the world. Their sheets now have over 12,000 five-star reviews online. And brooklinen.com has an exclusive offer just for listeners of Tuman Bay. Get $20 off and free shipping when you use the promo code Tuman Bay at brooklinen.com. In fact, Brooklinen is so confident that you'll love your new sheets that they offer a risk-free 60-night satisfaction guarantee and a lifetime warranty on all of their sheets and comforters. There's no reason not to give these sheets a try. The only way to get $20 off and free shipping is to use the promo code TUMANBAY at brooklinen.com. That's B-R-O-O-K-L-I-N-E-N.com. Promo code TUMANBAY. T-U-M-A-N-B-A-Y.